used all my options, worked off my dues, played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose. Don't want tomorrow to be like today, that's why I'm breaking away. I'm trying to run, I'm trying to hide, what can I win if I'm losing my pride? Won't let tomorrow be like today. Twist or bite? Uh, twist is the one. Ice. Can't grumble with an ice, son. Twist is another one. Oh, God. Well, you've got to go for it. Can I buy? Nah, nah, mate. You've already twisted once. Can't buy once you're twisted. All right. Twist again. Like we did last summer. Should have boys, Matt. Then I imagine you'll bust. Not necessarily. Two. Just one over. Ah, uh, well, I'd slave. I'd stick. Uh, I'll buy one for ten. Mm, stick. That's twenty, pay twenty ones. Uh, thank Look you, gentlemen. Stick. Yes. Uh, Charm me up. Bleeding quite more out there, isn't it? Looking we'll be light up. Well, it suits me. About well. <coughs> Still floating, doing is it? Floating, doing? Well, what's that supposed to mean then? You know, how in a doing, man? Cats and dogs. It's pissing down, isn't it? Well, at least that's English. It's easier to learn German than understand Jordy. Look, are we playing cards or what? Comes from the French flute. See, a flute means to rain in French. At least I think it does. Yeah, well, you're an educated man, you are, Nev, eh? Oh, levelling woodwork. Can't argue with that, can we, eh? Do you want to twist or buy? Come on. I'll stick with these, thanks. Door! Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll stick. There's lots of tents you were there, eh, Tully. Oh, leave the lad alone. We need the warm. Right, uh, twist is a seven. Name. Perfect. <laughs> 18 pay 19. Do you believe it? Look. Just leave it down there, you tell her we'll manage it. Just get out. Pluvoir to rain. If I'd known I was going to be put in with you, look, I'd have taken a bloody language course. Going to that place in Oxford Street, you know, the Berlitz School. Take an elementary duty for beginners. Hey, are you tell her? That's all right. Sling your hook, get out. Look at these cards. I must have killed a Chinaman. Not the Geordie derives from Denmark, Scandinavia. Because of the Vikings, see? They come over all way first. Well, they still do, don't they? The shopping marks and sparks. Yep. Uh, just checking here, Lorik. The lads were wondering what the possibility is of resuming work. Very right, smart. The forecast is continuing better. Oh. Well, uh, we don't mind working the weekend, you know, to make up for it. No, it's not popular with the German workers. Well, can I just uh, clarify one thing? I mean, uh, we, we still get paid, don't we? You know, I mean, the weather, that's not down to us, is it? Well, the weather's very English, I think. Yeah, but we'd still get paid in England. Yeah, but in Germany, you're self-employed. No work, no pay. Well, when I read the contract, it didn't read like that to me. No. Please. Read the small point. Friend. Uh, would you? Oh. 
Would you believe it, lads? Another pontoon, Oh, mate? well, three sevens. You yeah, jummy, Adam. There it goes. Yeah, it's double, I'm afraid. Double, oh, double for a pontoon, eh? Early days yet, lads, early days. Oh, look, cool me old. Here, Moxie, fancy a game of cards, son? No. I got a temperature, me. I can't think straight. Buddy, on a game, cards. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I've seen more gambling just to pay for, thank you very much. It's the ruination of my cousin Geoffrey, you know. He had a very nice position, did Geoffrey? Well, you know. He was assistant sales manager for a hydraulic hose manufacturer, you know. Huh? Firm's call. Bungalow on the better side of Dudley. Hey, yeah, you used to have the occasional flutter on the horses, you know. Nothing big. <laughs> then he fell in with this, um, bloody, bloody poker school, didn't I? Oh, way out of his depth he was, you know. He, uh, he lost all his savings, right? His home, the car, and his wife. What, he bet his wife on a card game? No. No, she, um, she left him because he, uh, you know, lost the bungalow. Oh. So, uh, I'll take it you're not in then, is that it? Correct. Stick. Hey, I nearly jumped up here. What's my cura say then? No work on Monday. Oh. I mean, no pay. Free or not, Bonnie lad? Some, uh, some chippies have got some indoor work. But us lot can't forget it. All right. I really hope to put in some overtime this week. What, you mean to compensate for your pontoon deposits? Very funny. Well, that'll break won't do us any harm, eh? Oh, I have a friend who wants to retile the bathroom. Aye, well, you shouldn't play cards, should you? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be playing cards if it wasn't raining. You really reckon Monday, Dennis? Friday, nobody in the forecast. Ah, oh, better phone her, I suppose. Well, that's no bother, man. Just reverse the charges. It's only England. Oh, it's really counting on that extra. It's bound to happen. It happens in other domes, isn't it? Well, well that's the word, then. I know a young frown line that won't be too upset. I'd better press me old whistle, wouldn't I, eh? It's one of them things, Neville Mun, you know. I mean, we'll make as well make the most of it. Do what? I don't know. Something. Pictures? Huh? Hey, we could uh, hire a car, couldn't we? Drive off overnight, like. Hey, how far's Berlin? Yeah. What? Berlin, man. Come again to Berlin, Dan. I've always wanted to go to Berlin. Why, for heaven's sake? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, it's, uh, it's historic, isn't it? I mean, it's interesting. After all, it is Berlin, isn't it? All right. Probably raining there and all. No, no, man. But think of it, man. Berlin, man. You know, spies, the war, Hitler's bunga. It's closed weekend. Oh, I do as a favour, man. Bummer. I hate to go to East Berlin, us. What, behind the Incurden? Aye. Right. That's all spend the uh, weekend in East Berlin, eh? Sound. But it's the most miserable, depressing place you've ever seen in your life. What, worse than here? <sighs> Seven thousand two hundred and two. Beat that. Not bad, lad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Formidable. That man's be personal best. Okay, kid. You wouldn't have missed this for the world, would you? What a luck. No choice, have we? Right. Who ordered what? Help yourselves. So be us, yeah. Yeah. Look at London. On the pull again. Oh, devastating. He's even polished his earring. Yeah, well, it's worth it, isn't it? Uh, Jane Bait, I'll bet. You want a drink, son? I'll have a coat. Walk. Ah. You're tilted, bum up. Cob up. You're right, Nim. Who is she? Ah, it's a bit tasty, this one. 
Not just some bit of splash you give a full shooting to. <laughs> Got a bit up there, this one. And a bit down there, I wouldn't wonder. <laughs> Here's your cork. I hope it helps. Hey, what are you reading this for? You put it about enough. It's got good articles and good interviews, that. Oh, aye. Improves the mind, does it? Eh? In there, do you want to see if I can set you up tonight? I mean, she's bound to have a couple of friends. No, thanks. Go on, no. Not bothered? Go on, do you good? Yeah. I've got Brenda, if you've forgotten. Oh, I'm sorry, I spoke. Ned, where is Brenda? Differences, aren't we? Well, I know she's your old lady and that, but she's up in North Shields, isn't she? I mean, that just makes her your bleeding pen friend, doesn't it? Still. Oh, suit yourself. I'm off, lads. I'll catch you later, all right? Bye. Oh, right. oh, yes. Hey! Here's a good interview. Makes me feel quite nostalgic. What would you now be doing if you were now in London? As it's Friday, I'll probably be working or on the dole. What is that? It's the unemployment. We're very big on that in England. It's one of our few spectacular successes. Like we've managed to put more people out of work than any of our European counterparts. Yes. I mean, I've got mates my age, ain't worked since they left school. Mind you, some of them in suits down to the ground. So, what do they do? Well, they sort of put their energies into other things. Hence the violence at West Ham. What? It's a football team. Ah, and you go to football? Nah, well out of that. I work in England. Right, you said, where was it? Maidstone. It's not far from London. Maidstone, eh? No shortage of action there, then, eh? Very nice, the family I work with. He was an airline pilot, and she too was working, was teaching young children. And uh, that's where you learn to speak such good English, eh? <laughs> I do not speak too good, I think. Yeah, well, you don't have to, do you? What do you mean? Where I come from, you're what's known as a very tasty bird. That is what the airline pilot tells me. Oh, yeah. The record store is a Thursday. Yeah, I ain't about. You like? Well, I like nice things, nice jewellery. Look, see that? Oh, yes, I like it. It's pretty. That's what I like about it. It's discreet. I'm not into flash things, you know, like every ID bracelet. It's an insignia ring shaped like skulls. Oh, that is nice. Look, it is pretty, yes? Well, well, that's what I mean. Discreet and classy. <laughs> I wish I had something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I do not mean that you should have. Right, what's the damage? <laughs> I'm sorry? Deutschmarks. How much does it cost? Forty pounds, perhaps more. Come in, then. No, it is not necessary. Now look, you only live once. Besides, the lads are paying for it. I've cleaned them all at pontoon.
Uh, I'd invite you back to my place, but there's six other blokes there and there's a terrible draught under the door. Bet your place don't have that problem, no, eh? No. There's my mother, my father, and a young sister. And... Now, tell me you're joking. No, it is true. I'm living at my family. Ah, I'm living with my family. Yeah, well, either way. I must go home soon. What? What about tonight? Are we going somewhere later? No. You see, you called me, and I just have this day free because this week I'm working on Saturday, and so I'm able to go out. But for tonight, I have already... Another day. Well, yes. But I just explained. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, well, not to bother. Really? I'm sorry. Yeah, we all are, love. I think you are most angry because you are not getting to bed with me. I'm not angry. Bitterly disappointed, perhaps. I think you expect that always. If so, then I will disappoint to you. Look, I actually fancy a night in, so if you could give us a lift. Of course. Where should I take you? Starlag 78. A what, pet? Oh, it's Dude, the storm's always blowing. H, box is asleep. Oh, he was, he was all sick this morning. Yeah, I saw the crowd talk. It'd be a dead storm by an oven. Hey, it doesn't look too cunning. I'm a mate telling early and tall. After those Swedish sex sagas. Them and Dean up on me, then. Take eating chocolates with a peer as on. Hey, my money's gone. What, there? Eh? My money, it's gone. Ah, it went on pawn too, didn't it? It's a weird most. No, nah, I'm serious, man. I always keep all my spare cash in this shoe. It's gone. Hang on a minute. Look, is it not in the other one? No, nah, I've looked. Well, it could be somewhere else, man. Oh, I then look, look. It's not, it's not there. It's been pinched. Well, it's panic, man. I mean, uh, you probably just put it somewhere. Like where? Where? A pocket or something? Ah, right. could it Look, be? then, before we went out, I was cleaning these shoes. That I put my money in one of them. It's gone. How much has been taken? 33 quid. You definitely didn't take it out with you. I promise you, no. Hey, my watch is being nicked. What? The strap broke, right? So I left the tea on and he put it. It's gone. When I got back from the quacks, you'd all gone. Except Wayne. He was here doing his hair. Then I went to get me prescription. Then I went to... Bed. <laughs> Did anybody come in while you were in bed? I was flat out, wasn't I? Well, most of the time. I think someone come in. But I might have been dreaming. I've got a temperature, you know. I'm not a well man. <laughs> so you want just here on your own? Well, you get that? I'm just saying. No, you don't. But what's up with you? I know what you're saying. Look, Boyle, you've not been in this that long. The rest of us have. We're more mates like. So what? Uh, I know mates who rip each other off. Not these lads. If I wasn't sick, I'd have you outside bit out. What do you reckon, dear? All right, all right, hold your horses. Nobody's accusing anybody. We're just trying to establish the facts. That's right, Timus. Moxie died, is he? You're back early. Well, I didn't pull. I mean, it does that. Spent enough on it, though. Prison, Chinese lunch, was it Indonesian? Can't remember. Cost enough, though, I'll tell you that. Floor, show you? Oh, well, it's down to you, look, wasn't it? What's that supposed to mean? Pontoon, wasn't it? Yeah, what's the word? What's going on? He, he, he was here. With that old hair today. But when I left, he was still here. What's he on about? There's been some money talk to me about. When? To be here sometime. Nah. Well, who's, man? My car shows his watch. Nobody else has found him in missing. Oh, I'll better check. No, well, maybe we should do that. You what? Check your tackle. 
Oh, what a prick I am. And I thought you were my mates. It's my second surprise today, well, isn't it? I'm not seeing nothing, Wayne. No, not much. You're just pointing the finger at me, though, aren't well, you? Well, just check your things. You've got nothing to hide, right? Just clears the air, doesn't it? Does it? I mean, you checked everybody else's things? No, not yet. No, nor ever lightly, either. Bloody naffing, Geordie Mafia. Butter wouldn't bloody melt, look, would it? Come on now, Wayne. Look, it just simplifies things, doesn't it? Eh? <laughs> look, we're not trying to prove that one of us did it. We're just verifying the fact that none of us did. We're looking at everybody's things, mine included. Look, I'm not saying it's you. Eh, uh, not much. None of us are. I'm supposed to buy that, eh? You bloody Geordies, you think you're God's gift, didn't you? Such a lather about that. We ain't listen. This is bollocks. Hey, man. I'm just serious. You've said enough as far as I'm concerned. Look! Look, boy. Hey, pack that in! Yeah, yeah, that's what? No! Uh, I'm asking him, oh what? Just don't shove nah, me! Ah, piss off, man! Ah! Nice ah. shit! Pack it in! Yeah, well, he swung at me, man. Oh, you'll provoke him. Yeah, well, what are you lot doing to me, eh? Oh, shit, I'm bleeding. Look, you're all right, bunny lad. Look, what that round it, mate. Look, this is crazy, man. You want to check my fees going? I'll tell you, but that's it. What's that supposed to mean? You don't trust me, do you? You just go and look. But I'll tell you what, I'm shipping out, mates. And I'd rather bed in with the Turks and stay with you lot. I can look at my things in until they That's not the point, man. No, look, he's yeah. right, right. It isn't the point. Look, just forget about it, right, Wayne? Nobody will look at anybody's things. I've been delirious. That's all the woos, Cubby. What are we going to do then, Dan? I don't know. Look. If what's been taken is on this table first thing in the morning, then we'll forget about it, right? It'll never be mentioned again. Uh, Neville, uh, could I have my shirt back, please? Uh, you know, when, when, when you finish with it, Lord. Okay. I'll live. I might need stitches. I'll worry about that in the morning. No, I'm sorry, Nev. No, me should apologise. I was a bit pissed off because I didn't score, you know. <laughs> I thought you said she was the type you didn't give a portion to. Yeah, but I wish she had. <laughs> no hard feelings. Oh, it's me should be asking you that. Yeah, but you're a fit Geordie bastard, aren't you? Hey, I, I'm sorry about what was said. It's all forgotten, man. Go. Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, Hard business, this, you know. I know. However, if what's been taken is on that table first thing in the morning. It'll be a bloody miracle. Seen to. Doc's not around on a Saturday. We'll find a private one. My go septic. Thanks again, Doctor. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yes? Yeah, thanks. I always looked he could see us. <laughs> he was the last. And now he goes off for the weekend and I must also boring paperwork. <laughs> I must also take your details because you are a new patient. Oh, Please, right. take a seat. Thank you. Oh, you speak German? No. Oh! Nine. <laughs> you don't speak very good English, though. I was working there, au pair in Kent. Oh, aye. You are from the north, I think. Northeast. What is it like there? Is it nice? Well, no, it's a pretty desperate place, really. I like it, though. Okay. Your name is? Uh, Neville Hope. Male. Married or single? Married. Five years nearly. Date of birth? April uh, 23rd, 1958. Hmm, you marry young. And address? What, there or here? 
Well, here, if you are staying. I am. I'm working, building like. It's care of the big old building site. Well, it's, it's up at the north end of the city. Ah, I know someone who is working, sir. He too is English. Oh, perhaps I know him. Perhaps. No, you must come back to get out the stitches. Would that have to be after work? Oh, I'll not be working with this hand. Okay. I put you for Monday afternoon at five, yes? Fine. Right. Thanks very much. How did you hurt your hand? Oh, I hit the door. I caught the metal edge. You hit the door? Oh, oh I was trying to hit a friend. What the morale is, you know? What morale? Why, the morale of our hut? The morale of our hut? Look, we're not prisoners of war, man, keeping a stiff upper lip in the face of adversity. Hey, you live in a dream world, you do us. Well, what I'm saying is, what I'll meet, I mean, there's a certain sort of character to our group. That's it, we've got character. Look, you live with a hut full of overgrown adolescents who are either booze in our morning. I mean, however, if you think that's character, I mean, no, man. Yeah, it's why be a bitter. Yeah, but we we'll trust each other, I'll admit it. That's the point. Not trust's in danger of uh, evaporating with a thing like this. Hey, I didn't know you put such strong trust to us. I do that. I mean, without it, where are we? In the jungle. So you're convinced that nobody in our hut's a thief, eh? Well, nah. When you just were having a shower, I went through everybody's locker. Did you what? Well, somebody had to. Hey, what about all this? Trust you on a boat. Well, that proves me point, doesn't it? Hey, you're a queer one, you lad. Well, not so much of that queer, mate. Anyway, cheers. Cheers. You found nothing, then? Oh. Right, I'll tell you. The sum total of all our possessions wouldn't fetch a fort to bring in by, seal. A pretty threadbare bunch, Dennis. Hey, do you think we should bring furniture with for air cushion covers? Do you think that'll be good for oh, the morale of our hut? Ah, eh? Hey, you're a big daft thing, you lad. Hey, I'm sure of them what you think. I was reading this spy book, you lad, dear, where this agent quotes these secret documents with this special stuff, right? It's unseen to the human eye, but it comes up on your hand the next day. So, he knows which one of the passengers is taking the documents. Eh? Passengers? Ah, they're all in his boat, you see. Bound for time, we're in a hut, man. We're bound for bloody nowhere. Look, it's just a simple lotion what oxidizes. You can buy it at any chemist or security store. Now, we could coat some cash, leave it lying around. None of us have got any money. You won't take me seriously. Well, I want to nick this thief. He took my watch in case you forgot. Well, it wasn't a very special watch, was it? The work in the water, done it. Oh, do you want to lift into town? Nah, not yet. Go off for a bit. Alright, I'll catch you later. Oh, uh, I thought you'd gone out. I was just going to borrow these if you don't mind, like. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you didn't think I was going to... I mean, after what happened. No, 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 no. It's okay. You're all right. Everyone's so suspicious of everybody else now. It's pathetic. Is that Barry? Yeah, he's fixed the bike. How have you paid for that? Oh, no. I'm at it now. So is it okay, then, you know, to... Uh... What are these like when you're out? Yeah, if I don't catch a cold off the edge, sir, you're all right. Never heard of half of these. I don't expect you had, my son. Doctor's Bill will. Yours ain't a very happy life, is it, son? It's a very pretty girl at the doctor's. Oh, yeah. Who was she then? Don't know. Receptionist. 
It's very pretty, though. Quite beautiful, really. You could have stoned in there, Sam. You'll be pressing your pants for some bit of skirt, no doubt. Nah, there's nothing on the horizon, mate. Oh, slipping. What about that one yesterday? Meant to be special, wasn't she? No, uh, she was a cut above, she was. But I knew I'd have to be a bit slippery, a bit tasty to ingratiate myself into her bed. But to know about Nev. Uh, she made it quite clear and all that time would not improve my chances. So, from now on, I'm sticking to her worst type of bird. Can I rate the Brenda? It's just as well, isn't it? I mean, what are you going to tell her? You've had all your money, Nick. You've been laid off and you fell for a beautiful bird at the doctor's. That's going to cheer her up no end, isn't it? All right, Deb. Yeah. Got fixed up. Some stitches. Better? Well, the stitches are out. Should be all right. Good. Uh, maybe I should make another appointment, just to check it out, like, see it's all cleared up. It is not necessary, or Dr. Muller would have said so. Well, you, you can't be too careful with something like this. I, I could turn septic. Uh, I, I could come in uh, any evening. Now we go. Huh? I'm going home. I walk out with you. Oh, right. You're working now? Um, Wednesday, doctors. Why did you not? No chance. I mean, I was I was good at school and that. Got some more levels. Well, woodwork and geography. But I had to leave, bring some money in the house. Your mother's a widow, you see. She works like school meals, but there's a couple of youngins in the house apart from me. So I started my apprenticeship at 16. What? Bricklayer. Ah, that is why you cannot work with bad hands. Oh, is this yours? Get in. I will give a lift to you. Oh, thanks very much. You just go down that I way. Know where it is. I suppose he is the most likely suspect. But you'll never know us. Forget about it. I don't know where young Neville's up to. Or wasn't he due back to work, did you? No. He said his hand hadn't healed yet. 
Oh, well, somebody short of cash is certainly dragging that injury out. Ah, oh, I do. And uh, that's a picture of Brenda outside and with us. And that's another one. Oh, it's very pretty country. This is not where you live, I think. No, that, that's when we were camping in the Lake District. That's Lake Ullswater in the background. The mother two was our best friends, Jean and Derek. Derek was my best man. You get married so young. You could have been only 20. Uh, well, I don't regret it. Well, I suppose we should have waited a bit longer to had a bit more behind us, but... That's why I'm here now, for the work and the extra cash. Some of the other lads were. Seems to me they're just here to get away and enjoy themselves. Not me. Been here as a sacrifice as far as I'm concerned. You do not like Germany? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. It's just that, well, I'd rather be home. But you make a lot of money here, yes? Well, in principle, I, but I've not had a very clever week in that department. I lost some playing cards, and I had some nicked, stolen. Mm. Then I couldn't get any overtime in because of the weather, and then I, I cut myself and I couldn't work anyway. You could have worked today. Your hand is quite better. I well. Oh, it was your last day at work today, wasn't it? Yes. I have much to clear away before I can leave. See, so you'll not be... Uh, well, I, I mean... I don't suppose you're free? No, Neville, I'm not, I'm afraid. I go to München on Friday, and tomorrow I must pack and see family. Of course. Naturally. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll get the bill, eh? You're a very sweet person, Neville. You're very kind and very honest. Perhaps I think many of your friends are not so. Oh, no, they're a great bunch of lads. Would they have told me they were married? Well, maybe not. I would like to give you something. There's something I should not have taken myself. Oh, no, you... no, we Ingrid, man. I can't... Then give it to Brenda. Starsky and Hutch. Well, I saw your silhouette, man. I thought it was the thief. Uh, he nearly gave us a heart attack. Aye, oh, well, but this is exactly when he'd strike, you know, when we're out at work. I mean, this is when he'd have the MMO. You what? Means motive and opportunity. You know, that's what Starsky and Hutch call it. Oh, how we, man? I was just give it a rest there, like Dennis says. Let's go back to living a normal life, eh? No, no. The rankles, I'm not giving it up. Only tools. This one's well up on the list, though. Got me eye on this one. Shut up, man. Oh, it's all right, man. He can't understand. What can you hear, you tell her? Eh? There you are. But uh, I'm telling you, we'll be well advised to keep him under constant surveillance. Why? Oh, just because he's a foreigner? No, not at all, not at all. Look. As far as I'm concerned, mate, there's only two blokes in this hut, which is above suspicion. Who? Well, you and me, Nev, man. Because we're the ones that's been burglarised, aren't we? We're the victims. I mean, we've got nothing to hate, have we? <laughs> So funereal about it. Back at work, aren't you? Got the letter from Brenda this morning. Huh? Just cancelled the bathroom tiles. Hey, 
Where are you off to? Oh, I'm just popping out somewhere. See you later. I know. Do you want to lift in the town? No, nah, no thanks, mate. Yeah, buddy, you give me a lift. I want to go and get some. Yeah, no worries. I'm not accusing you of anything, Ned. Yeah, you are. You all are. I come in here, it's like the Spanish Inquisition. It's n none of your business. Oh, I think it is, Bonnie lad. Well, if I'd pinched us his watch, how much would that have fetched at the pawn shop? Hey, it was a canny watch, that man. Oh, and I'm just pretending to have me money pinched to cover up. Oh, how we. Look, just hear me out, will you? Look, you are the last person in the world to steal anything, right? Well, you have got money troubles. So. Shut up. So. If you're desperate enough to get into Hock, I'd like to know about it, because I'd like to help. Well, personally, I don't know anything he's got that's of any pawnable value. Oh, he you? still thinks I took his bloody watch. Oh, don't be a prick all your life, take an hour off, will Look, you? it's nobody's business but me own. Listen, uh, what Dennis says goes for all of us. I mean, if you're strapped or in a jam or something, we'd like to help you out. I mean, that's the word, isn't it, Lance? Absolutely. Oh, oh. Look, we're all in your corner, kid. What it was. Look, look, you don't have to tell no, him. No, let him get it up his chest, man. I met this lass, you see. But nothing special. But I didn't want you to know, because I knew what you'd all think. Yeah, who was she then? Nobody you'd know. Anyway, I met her right. And when I seen her yesterday, she gave us this present, a bit of jewellery, a keepsake, like. Then this morning, I gets a letter from Brenda, and it just brought home how short was. How short she is, and then. So I pawned the lass's present. Oh, charming! Oh, leave it out. I know it wasn't a very nice thing to do, but like you see, I was strapped. I got 25 quid for it, and that's nearly what I had pinched. Well, that's one way of looking at it, isn't it? Right. That's all that's sorted out. Let's all go over to the greasy spoon, eh? Drink to this satisfactory conclusion. No, oh, it's. Hey, good for the morale of the hut. Yeah, boys. Isn't it? You've got to get that thing out of it. It's sentimental reasons, isn't it? Look, I'll loan you the readies and you can pay me back oh, weekly no, if you want. Oh, no, no. Really. No, you're all right, you're all right. How about tomorrow lunch? You on? Well, I do feel a bit bad about it. But I couldn't give it to Brenda. Where would you think I got the money from? Later, I mean, a birthday or something. Coming in? Yeah, cheers, mate. Right. Coming down the pub. You would have liked our win. Oh, 
Right, listen, everybody. A toast, a toast, our hut. Anyway, it's all got to. Biggest engagement. Said he was going downtown. I reckon he's off that pawn somewhere again. Oh, where you are, that pawn shop. He's probably rubbing us blind this very minute. <laughs> hey, close the door, will you? It's worse than the bloody artsy. Got him. You nothing lunatic. What's going on? Look at this. What you want about? Ah, uh, you'll see what I'll I'll caught a thief. What's going on? Look, last night, I, I caught a dish note with a special stuff, right? Dennis knows what I'm talking about. The next day, it stains your fingers, right? Look at the evidence. God, what you on about? I got that dish note, didn't I? I read the notes over there, innit? Eh? Oh, you were sis. Yeah, I've got it as well. Ugh. Hey, does this come out? Eh? Oh, no. I don't get this. Hey, does this come off? I've got a tattoo on me arm I don't want. No, I've got green fingers. Get it? Yeah. Decent thing to do, wasn't it? She asked me. It's no bother, son. Well, show us then. Living on. 